Today I'm here in Washington, D.C. to meet up with a great friend of mine who's getting married very soon. And by very soon, I mean next month. So we've got to get a move on. I'm going to help him pick out his wedding attire. And to do that, we're going to Suit Supply. Well, here we are. It's good to see you. I'm surprised you recognize me with the, with the beard and everything. You've changed a lot since yeah. we last hung out. <laughs> so I'm here with my very good friend, Scott Devereaux. We've known each other for eight years now, um, playing together in the United States Army Field Band. Scott is a tuba player, um, and we've been roommates when we've been on the road for, well, the entire time we've been here, so eight years. You're the only roommate I've ever had, Brian. So. And now? And now I'm getting a new roommate. You're getting married. You have a new roommate on the road because yeah. your future wife is also in the Army Field Man, right? Exactly. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you know, how you guys met, your, your story. So we met at work and we've been friends for a really long time. And then our friendship turned into something more. So I'm really excited to transition from rooming with one great friend to rooming with my future wife. Awesome. I've known you both of you guys for a very long time um, and I'm so excited. And for you guys to get married. Um, and we're here today to help you try and pick out the best wedding outfit. Now, I know you have a little bit of an idea of what you're looking for, but um, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is put together four different looks. We're gonna go through a few different dress codes, uh, four different dress codes to be specific, black tie, creative black tie, formal and dressy casual. We'll get you all set up and see which one you like best. How's that sound? That sounds great to me. Let's do it. All right, so here we are with option one, black tie, very classic look. We're going with a midnight blue tuxedo here because you said you didn't want black because... Didn't want it to feel like a musician at right, work. Right, you didn't want to feel like you're gonna go play the tuba. Yeah. You're getting married, so really nice midnight blue. We have a grosgrain peak lapel, the matching bow tie here, cotton pique shirt, and instead of a cummerbund, we're going with the vest here. Uh, I think it's a really great look with a patent leather Oxford. How do you feel on this? Feels great. I mean, you look like a million bucks. Feel like a million bucks. Great option. So how about we try option two now? Let's do it. All right. Here we are, option two. I absolutely love this. It's a version of black tie, which we'll call creative black tie, so you can do things a little bit different. And I think the gray dinner jacket looks fantastic. We have a self-facing shawl lapel. This is a cotton silk fabric. Uh, self-facing button, jetted pockets. You know, you said you didn't like, you, you wouldn't have chosen this for yourself, but. Yeah, it feels great now that I have it on. Right. I wasn't expecting to like it but I do. I think it looks fantastic. Now, instead of doing the classic tuxedo shirt and bow tie, we're going with the turtleneck here, which I think is great for, it looks very elegant, very chic. We're going with a black tuxedo trouser here, patent leather Oxfords once again. I think this is a great look. It's gotta be in the running. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Here we are with option three, which is gonna be for a formal dress code. Now, formal attire does not need to be complicated, but you need to nail the basics. That's a tailored suit, dress shirt, and a tie, and I think we've got it down pat right here. So color-wise, we're doing something very classic. We've got a charcoal gray suit. Can never go wrong with that. We've got a notch lapel here, so very classic as well. Conservative, flat pockets, it's a two button, crisp, white dress shirt, white pocket square to match, and then we've got a little bit of a off-white cream-colored knit tie, which I think is great. Adds a little bit of texture into the look. Now, it is formal, so we are doing a formal uh, finishing on the trouser bottom, it's no cuff. And then kind of taking the formality 
down just slightly with the color of the shoes. They're not a deep brown, but I think it's a really nice in-between. Could be perfect for your event. Option four, we have Dressy Casual. Now there are many ways that you can go with Dressy Casual, but let's talk about what we've got going on here. So we've got a flannel sport coat in a nice sand color, beautiful. We've got a natural shoulder here, notch lapel, jetted pockets, and a three roll two button. Underneath, we've got it paired with a simple white OCBD, again, keeping it kind of casual. Now we're wearing a light gray flannel VBC fabric trouser. Now this has a single reverse pleat. We've got side adjusters instead of belt loops. The bottom finishing here, we've got a four centimeter hem. Also looks really casual, drapes really well with this fabric. On your feet, we have a dark brown suede derby with a wingtip and broguing. Underneath, giving a little bit of depth here, we've got this vest, which has a little bit of personal meaning to you. Absolutely. So we've got our four options. I think it's going to be tough to make a choice, but why don't you get changed and we'll see what you come out with. All right, now for the moment of truth, deciding which outfit it's going to be. Option one, we had black tie, full tuxedo, midnight blue, super timeless and classic, always a great choice. Option two, creative black tie, dinner jacket, a little more casual than a tux, still very formal, very chic. Option three, formal look with a suit, great option, especially with a perennial suit, you can wear again and again and again. And finally, number four, we had dressy casual, sport coat, odd trousers, and the addition of a vest. So, what's it gonna be? So the first look, I really love the color. The midnight blue is a twist on something that I wear a lot in a tuxedo, but the blue really set it off for me. I love how I felt in that one. Number two is actually kind of a surprise for me because I would never choose to wear a turtleneck personally, but once I put it on, it felt really great. It's kind of turned into a dark horse. Number three felt super polished, classic suit. I loved it. Fourth look, I really love because it fits the vibe that we're going for. It's really casual, but also adventurous. And I also love all the textures involved in that look. It's really nice. And I love incorporating the sentimental piece that means a lot to our relationship. So, what's it gonna be? Well, drum roll. I'm gonna go with the fourth look. I think it's a great option. I love everything you said about it. I love that there's a sentimental attachment you have with it. You're gonna look great. Thanks. So, one thing I wanted to say uh, is that, so something I'd like to do for you is a gift for your wedding, and we really thank Suit Supply for this as well, is you looked great in everything, so we're actually going to give you all four of the looks that oh. you saw today. Wow, so. that's, that's really amazing. That's <laughs> so if you change your mind between now and then, you, you, you'll be able to, to sue. So um, I'm really thankful for our friendship. Um, I wish you and Erica all the best. So yeah, can't wait for it. No, thanks, Brian. <laughs> I appreciate that.